Hello friends, this video on soil part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to discuss the third property of soil that is water absorption by soil. So let's see what are we going to talk about in water absorption. So we saw how is uh, water draining through the soil. That's what we learned about in percolation of water. Then we saw how much water is actually present in the soil. That's, that was the moisture. And now the third one is water absorption. How much water is absorbed by the soil. So this is basically the retention of water by the soil particles. So that means this is the amount of water which is actually held by the soil particles, which is actually taken by the soil particles. So this water is not allowed to just, you know, to pass through the soil. It, it will get locked by the soil particles. So that is the retained water or the water which is held by the soil particles. So now we will have a comparison of water absorption by various types of uh, soil. So let us take for example the sandy soils. So in case of sandy soils what happens? The spaces, the particles are big, the spaces between the particles are also big. So you see these are the spaces between the particles which are comparatively bigger. So it is very easy for water to pass through these spaces. So water will not get retained in these spaces. So as soon as water enters here, it will like, you know, it will pass through these spaces and it will continue to go down. So basically in this case, the retention rate is going to be very less. So in this case, water retention would be less. So water retention would be less. But if you talk about the percolation rate, that would be more because water is like draining quickly. So water is passing through the pores very fast. So the percolation rate would be high. Now let us take example of another type of soil. So let's say the clayey soil. So in case of clayey soil what happens? The size of the particles is small. The particles are very tightly bound to each other. Spaces between them is like very small or almost not there. So very tiny spaces in between. So in the, through these tiny spaces water really cannot you know it cannot drain quickly. So that means the percolation rate in this case is quite less. In fact, least of all the three types of soil. But when you talk about the water retention, what happens is which whatever amount of water reaches these uh, spaces, they get kind of locked in that spaces. They are not allowed to move anywhere. So that is how a lot of a good amount of water is actually held by the soil or retained by the soil. So therefore, we can say that in this case, water retention is quite high. So you see these are the two extreme things. In sandy soil water retention is low but in clay soil water retention is high. In sandy soil percolation rate is high but in case of clay soil percolation rate is less. Now depending upon the type of requirements of the plant. So if a plant needs a type of soil which holds more water then which type of soil would be more suitable? Of course, clay soil, right? And when you talk about loamy soil, loamy soil is in between these two because these two are the two extremes. So therefore, we say that loamy soil is the most suitable soil because it is in between the two. So it has the right amount of water retention. It also has the right amount of percolation rate because it is not the extremes. It is just in between the two extremes. So let us look at the water absorption for different soils. So when you look at water absorption, so here you can see that in the case of sandy soil, the water percolates. So the percolation rate is high, but water absorption is less. So there is no water which is actually absorbed by the soil. But in case of loamy soil, so the water absorption for sandy soil is the least. For loamy soils, you see wherever there are spaces, some water is actually locked there. So some water is retained. And in case of clay soil, you actually see a lot of water being retained. So the clay soil has maximum water retention. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.